Welcome to another episode of the magazine. Today we have a very special episode on the Fairhaven Father's Day Road Race, celebrating the 50th anniversary. Welcome to the show, Russ and Will. Hey, nice. Thanks. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. So uh, congratulations, first of all. 50 years, quite an accomplishment uh, for the Father's Day Road Race. So uh, tell me about your role, uh, Russ, and, and how you're involved. Um, so I've been involved, this is my third year. Um, there was a committee well in place, and fortunately, they, they let me sort of help out a little bit. And um, so, again, my third year, uh, my job is to, to get uh, some money. <laughs> Basically, I, um, I ask different businesses for um, support, uh, which is very uncomfortable for me because I don't really like to ask for money. But um, I, I know that uh, the money that we raise goes to not only running the road race, but uh, to once, you know, once all the smoke clears, we donate everything that's left over to the community. So I know it's going to a good cause. So that's my major role um, at this point. So who's on your team? All right. So uh, right now, uh, Tom, uh, who's off to the side here, uh, Tom Wojcik and uh, Heidi Hacking help, helps out, and then Jody um, Duvall is a big piece of it. Um, and then obviously Mr. Days still comes to all the, all the meetings and uh, his daughter Carol Ann. So that's sort of the, the team we have in place right now. Um, and Alan Days is the founder of that's the That's right. Father's, so, Father's you know, Day he's, he's the fountain of information. So everything, um, everything that I've learned, you know, I, I used to take him out to the sponsorships with me. So okay. he sort of just to pick his brain about how we went about it and what the process was. Um, you know, he had everything on sort of uh, little note cards and, you know, <laughs> business cards. And so I'm trying to trying to put all that together and, and, you know, utilize his name to make the contacts in the community. Sure. So how are you going to make this year a little bit different? Uh, so it's the 50th anniversary this year, which was super exciting. And we started, I mean, we started talking about the 50th anniversary, um, I think, before even the 49th race was run. So we're kind of like, what do we want to do different? And like, I don't know if we wanted to change it super dramatically, but we wanted to, I think, put little pieces in. So, uh, for example, we got, you know, the medals that we're going to give out this year are special 50th anniversary medals, nice. different shape, different coloring. Uh, we have a new design for the T-shirt, which is going to be a surprise. Um, you know, for, for the day of the race, we're bringing back the mugs. We used to, we did mugs. I'm sure you know. Yes. I have I think a thousand mugs in my <laughs> in my in my basement. Um, so we're bringing back the mugs, which has been great. We've got a lot of good sponsors for the mugs. So we're excited about that. Um, uh, we're also uh, my other son. This is my son Will. <laughs> my other son, uh, he made a video of the 49th that he turned into a, um, sort of a I don't, know, I don't know what you call it, like a not a hype video, but a promotional, promotional video. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're we're gonna start to to get that out there. We did like a lot of little interviews of um, runners who've run it in the past and kind of what the race has meant to them. So sure. we're gonna release snippets of that. Um, so those are kind of the major changes that we've, I don't know if changes, but just what we, oh, and one more thing, we're, <clears throat> we're gonna commemorate the finish line with a, uh, a little like a summit marker. Okay. So we got uh, approval from the school committee to have it put into the ground at the finish line at Hastings. Um, oh, nice. So we're not quite sure how we're gonna go about uh, getting that out there, but we're, we're gonna do that at some point. So those are kind of the things we've done and trying to make it a little bit more fun. I wanted to bring hot dogs to the race this year, but we're having trouble finding the hot dog vendor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone watching the show is going to be calling you up. Yeah, so. if anybody's willing to help us out with hot dogs, because that would be great. I don't know why hot dogs are such a big deal, but we were hoping for them. Great, great. So, so I mean, we have a father and son team right here, but uh, so what is the mix of the runners? Um, so... It's funny, Tom was doing some stats, and it, it, it looks like 20% uh, of the runners are under the age of 13, which I think is awesome. Wow. Because, like, that's, yeah. you know, he started running, I think, when he was six or seven or something around like that, right? around there. He actually ran most of the race backwards that year, I remember, because uh, we, we, we were running with him, and, and he was like, come on, let's go. And he's running backwards, <laughs> like, hurry up, why are you guys running so slow? Um, so anyway, so... I guess what I'm getting at is that with younger kids, I mean, it really is about starting a new tradition. And on our flyer that we use, it, it says start your own tradition. Sure. Um, and that was our tradition. And, and he just kind of never stopped, you know. So it, I think it's great that there's a lot of families, moms, dads, um, kids out there running together. It just, that's, that's important to me. 
And how has it been getting sponsorships this year? Um, it's, it's been a little bit tougher this year, if I'm being honest. Uh, it, not because businesses aren't wonderful. It's just I, I think it's probably a little bit tougher times now. Um, yeah. So some of the businesses that we're able to sponsor in the past uh, aren't able to this year. Uh, but on the flip of that, we've also had businesses that haven't in the past step up. So I think because mm -hmm. we, we the T-shirts are the big thing. So we have, I think, um, actually one more sponsor in total than we had last year. So okay. it's great. Ian, uh, for the mugs, we got uh, seven, seven sponsors, which are all new to the game. So um, so it's been a little bit a little bit more legwork. But um, again, the community is kind of awesome and, and he, everybody does everything they can, mm -hmm. which is kind of inspiring. So. So if someone's watching and they, is it too late to be a sponsor? Um, I think at this point, it's a little too late to be on the mugs or the t-shirt because we got to get those out to the screen printers. And I, I kind of make the joke that um, I'm running the race now, like the right. committee's running the race now because like this is the, the busiest time. So we got to get that stuff out. But, uh, you know, a couple of our sponsors this year reached out to us last year. Oh, wow. And we're okay. like, hey, can we be a part of it? And it was kind of, well, not this year, but if anyone wants to be a part of it, reach out, um, you know, to, to, the, to the, either the website or. That's great. That's great. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the date, the time, uh, the actual day of the, everyone knows it's Father's Day, but Father's Day is a different date every year. So, so I'm going to try and nail this too. It's June 16th. It's at 9 a.m. Okay. Um, we recommend people get there early. You know, we're going to have the DJ rocking by 7.30, oh, quarter wow. of okay. 8. So yep. the sooner you get there, the better. Okay. Um, just because mm -hmm. we start shutting things down. So I, we usually recommend being there by like 7.30 or so and getting closer to race time. Carol Ann mm -hmm. will grab her megaphone and okay. start going, everybody, you know, get to Adam <laughs> Street. Um, so the sooner you can get there, the better. It's a fun atmosphere, too. Like I said, the music is going. Everybody's talking, hanging out. So um, so get there early. And you can pick up all your materials the day before? Yeah. I, the bid pickup is 10 a.m. Uh, okay. Saturday, so the day before. And then I think you can still pick up bibs the day of, but if you can get them on Saturday, it's a lot. It's much smoother, for sure. Now let's talk about the impact this race has for our community. Sure. Um, it's, it's hard to kind of put into words, but I think last year, I, again, Tom is better with the numbers, but I think it was 13,000 that we gave back, Wow! which is, is just an awesome number, which is why I said it's hard to ask for money, but knowing where it goes. Sure. Um, so we give back t all over the place to the fire, to the EMS, to, you know, the Fairhaven high school band, you know, you name it, it yeah. the gamut is all over the place and it's all community places. So um so to me just from a financial perspective that's great but then if you look at the community in terms of you know the people cheering on the side of the road and and um if my son's video there was one part where um you know it's just he ended it with in part of father just with his hand around his son the kid was like six or seven and the kid's just like holding his hand and they're just kind of standing there and it's just it's really inspirational so on a community level it's it's as specific as that like that that one interaction with father son but it's also as global as giving money back to the police sure. so it really i think it hits all aspects of the community definitely has an impact yeah, it does. And it's, I mean, it's impacted me, which is why I'm sitting here. Like, sure. I wanted to be a part of it because I just, you know, whatever I can do, because it's helped me and, and, and my son Will, um, not only as, as him as an athlete, but just our relationship even. So I, I think, you know, I hope that helps other people too. Excellent. So, Will, <laughs> welcome yeah. to the show as well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, you've been doing this since around six years old? Yes. Um, I started with right before I think I got into the program brand of, uh, Band of Brothers. My sister had done Soul Sisters, um, which obviously, you know, two of the best programs that I've come across. It introduced me to the sport. I think nowadays one of the harder things um, is getting introduced to running at all. Uh, and so this race really served as that for me. Um, and like he said, the, the father-son aspect has also been just amazing. I mean, I remember being a kid being like, oh, I can't wait to go run out with dad. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so it was. It, it's just been awesome. And now to see it go from you know, such, it's just a tradition. Like every single Father's Day, I know we wake up excited to go to the race. Uh, mm -hmm. And then after the race is honestly better than the running itself. Uh, spending time with him and, and the rest of my family and, and eating food and donuts. <laughs> donuts, it, there's just nothing better at all. So, That's great. How, how has this impacted your running career? 
like I said, I mean, this was really, this is the first race I ever ran. So, um, and there's been a lot to follow. Uh, and so this was just the introduction to it. And, you know, running has really kind of, it's done a lot for me. Um, I run in college now. And uh, just to see how small, you know, of a start I had to where it's at now, I, I couldn't have done it without this race, really. Um, wow. I'm, I'm forever thankful for it. So, and that's why I also, you know, always tell him I'd love to help in any way I can because it truly is just one of my favorite days of the year. So it's definitely had an impact on you. Absolutely. And your yes. career. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. So that's awesome. So um, how has your perception of this race changed over the years? It's funny. Honestly, I would say it really hasn't changed at all because from when I was six, uh, I was just as excited as I am now at 21, coming on 22. So, you know, the race stands for the same thing every year. And I think that's something that they do well of, you know, putting such an emphasis on the father-son uh, aspect and the family aspect. It truly is more than just a road race. You know, it's, it's, it's a tradition and uh, it's an experience to have. And that's why, you know, year in, year out, I look forward to it. And it's the best, best day of the year. Yeah, it does have an impact on being a father-son. Yeah, you know, absolutely. a daughter, son, you know, a father, yeah, you know, so uh, it's really a, a strong connection, you know, yeah. for a great way to celebrate Father's Day for sure. No, it's great. I mean, you know, my son runs it, my other son videotapes it and my daughter hands out the medals. So it's like, you know, we're all involved and yeah. uh, but it's so special as a dad to, to have all my kids there. And it's, it really is exciting. Yeah. And even even just on the community level, um, I was talking about it before, just being able to, you know, I live an hour and a half away and a lot of my friends from home and that I went to high school with we're all gone now so it's really one day where the whole community comes together and, and is there and I see people I haven't seen you know for a year and it's it's good to catch up and it just really brings the community together in that way you know no one in Fairhaven doesn't know about the Father's Day race everyone knows what's going on that day you know it's funny when we first moved to Fairhaven um we the house we're at we I, there was a thousand cars on the street because we live right near Hastings. I'm like, what's going on today? You know, and it's like, oh, this is what it is. But, yeah. Well, the Father's Day road race is very special to me as well. Uh, every year at the end of the road race, I uh, actually take my number and put it on my father's grave right at Riverside. So it, it's still impactful even if your father is not here, you know. So um, the memories, uh, that's always like a tradition now. And now I've gotten my daughter and my son and my granddaughter even to uh, be a part of that tradition now. So it's, it's gone to ne the next generation too. So, so it's really impactful. And I'm sure in the video that your son has, and I believe we're going to play that uh, as, as part of this episode, um, it's had an impact on a lot of people. Yeah, it was, it was for me to watch the video and just see the way that people were talking about their experiences. And he was, my son was smart because he, he interviewed folks who'd been running it forever mm -hmm. and people who've only been running it for a couple of years. So I, I thought that was a good take on it. Um, so even the people who were younger running it, they, they were, you know, talking about memories they already started to have. So I just, you know, I, I think that's great. So it does take, you mentioned your core group of volunteers, but I'm sure it takes other volunteers like with water stands. Oh, and goodness, yeah. And, and I got to be honest, like I, I don't even, because there's another gentleman who out of the North Haven Improvement Association who kind of handles that, almost that end of the race, right? So he's got uh, all the, the water set up and he handles the cones that need to be moved. And there's so many people who have their hand in it, you know, and it, everybody just does their small little role and it just turns out to be this wonderfully big race, you know, and I, I guess that's, it's, it's kind of, you know, once you really see how much goes into it, it it's almost overwhelming. So you sure. no one person can do it. So we're blessed to have mm -hmm. folks who put their time in. And even if people don't want to run the road race, but they still want to help out, they can. Yeah, absolutely. I think that, um, you know, the more help we have, the better. Like, I'd love to, you know, be able to even get more sponsors and, and do mm -hmm. more. And it just, you know, you, you work full time and it, it, it's tricky, right? Life life is, is busy. So anybody who's looking to help, there's always a job. Yeah, you know, okay. there's always something to do. Actually, we wanted to have our, our clam chowder this year, but we to get enough volunteers to give it out was, was a little tricky. So yeah, things like that. So it could be something as simple as that. Okay. Yeah. And, and you talked about food vendors a little bit <laughs> earlier. So that there's still an opportunity for people to uh, donate uh, from sure. restaurants or from different Yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, you know, we, we have our staples, right? Riccardi's, 
gives us a ton of pizzas. Dunkin' Donuts gives us, I think it's like 75 dozen donuts, which wow. is fantastic. Yeah. And we get, you know, all the fruit and, and the waters. But, um, you know, I like to think of the after race as kind of the, it's almost like a big party in a way. Again, we still got the DJ playing and it's just kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So if there's any anybody who's food vendors or anybody who wants to kind of just show up and set up shop, you know, reach out to us. We would love that. Just makes it even that much more fun. And they can get in touch with you through the website. Correct. Correct. And um, we're hoping for a good turnout. Like this year, I think last year we had about 1,100 runners. I'm, I'm rounding one way or the other. Um, but registration is up already. So I think we're at like 250 runners right now. Um, this time last year, we were about 125. So we're we're trending better already. So it should be a pretty good turnout. And so even if people don't want to run, can't donate anything, how important is it for people to be cheering the runners on? I almost think it's, I mean, Will can probably speak better to this because I don't run that much, but yeah. why don't you answer it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that, that also ties into the whole day, you know, running, like I said, everyone in Fairhaven knows that the race is going on and running down Adam Street, um, especially Adam Street, it's lined with people the whole way. And, and it really, it motivates you. I'm sure, you know, it motivates everyone that's on the line um, to keep going. And it, it really is one of the biggest parts of, that's why if you can't help out, you know, like he said, with the handing out chowder or, or being a food vendor, the biggest thing you can do, honestly, is just be there, be a part of the experience and, and cheer everyone on. That's It's funny. You see like those random people standing outside of their door with a cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. awesome. Like yeah. you, you can't, or like a little kid who wants a high five. Like those are, the, 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 that involvement I think is probably more important than anything else because that is what inspires the runners and not just, you know, people who are in the front of the pack. Like I, I've always, listen, I'm, I'm proud of you for, <laughs> for doing well, but like I think about those folks at the back of the pack who just still getting cheered along. Like I think that's super inspiring. So, um, well, it's been inspirational for me because I'm usually <laughs> one of the people on the very back of the pack. So, <laughs> but um, I, I can't thank you both enough for your dedication to the Fairhaven Father's Day Road Race. Congratulations on Thank 50 you. years celebration here. And uh, I think that you both have a great inspirational story and memories that you will have for the rest of your lives. Absolutely. So thank you, and I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. You know, on thank Father's you. Day 2024, mm -hmm. uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary. That's great. Thank, thank you, you so you. much. Thank you. What's your favorite memories or traditions with the race? Our favorite, uh, my favorite memory is uh, being first father, the first two times I ran, well the only two times when I was healthy and running. And uh, there was a nice picture which we can't find but we will find, it was way before cameras took pictures, um, or phones took pictures. Uh, so we don't know where the heck it is, but it was uh, outside Town Hall in 78 or 79. Uh, I was second, and then uh, first year I was sixth, and the next year I was second. And little Allison is sitting there at three years of age. And my favorite memory was, of course, having a pancake breakfast at the Day's family house after um, the race. That's what we used to do, and those are the earliest memories that I have of the Father's Day race, is having a breakfast with everybody together at the end of it. My favorite memory is, I don't know when it was, but me, and Owen Burr and my dad ran the 10K when I was like 10 or 11 in the downpouring rain. And I remember like we were so far behind everybody. We were like by ourselves, but that was a lot of fun because we were soaked. In the old days, it started down in the center and that first turn from Center Street onto Main Street was always a, a zoo. And we had to really position yourself to get a good start. Oh gosh, I've been doing this race. How many years is that since? 
um, when I was a kid, my sister used to run the race, and I always wanted to run it because I looked up to her. Um, she passed away, so I run it every year for her. My probably my funniest memory would be the first year I ran it. Um, I was dead last, and it was like the movie Chariots of Fire when I turned the corner, and everybody's arms went up in the air. And um, but my favorite probably is turning the corner to run down Cogswell Street and seeing all the runners running down the hill. It's just it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. I don't know, and that's what keeps me going. I think uh, I've been uh, lived in town all my life. Um, I have not been involved in the race for a number of years, but I originally worked for Fairhaven Savings, which is one of the major uh, sponsors, early sponsors when the race started. We had a, uh, a water stand set up in front of the North Fairhaven Seagrove, uh, which is now the Oxford Pub. And um, I, of course I had a glass of beer as I was passing out water. One of the runners came by, grabbed my glass of beer, and I said, hey, and he looked at me, and he looked at the beer, and he drank it and kept on going. Uh, so, I don't know, it's nothing specific, but like I used to, I, I loved waking up in the morning. I felt like it was always sunny, like always sunny. And we would get up and you know, my, my three kids, we would, we would get our bibs on and we'd, we'd stretch in the front lawn and we'd take a little picture in the front lawn. And we lived near Hastings, so we'd walk to Hastings together. And it was just, I don't know, it was just an exciting feeling. Uh, you know, as a dad, being with my kids uh, on that day, just doing something like that was just a lot of fun. So uh, it's nothing dramatic, but it just it meant a lot to me year after year. The uh, favorite part of the, of the, the, the race, what I remember about the, all the races, most of them, was it was always a hot, humid day. And one race in particular, I can't think of the year, it was probably 1980, somewhere in the then of 79, somewhere in that, in that, in that vicinity. Uh, they changed the race because of, I believe, of church uh, interfering with the race, so they moved it that year to, to uh, six o'clock in the evening. And people thought that, you know, it probably would be better, it would be cooler, it would be, the, the sun would be down and it turned out to be the hottest race that I can remember of all 50. It was just atrocious, and the humidity had to be 100%, and people were, were passing out along the course. The ambulance was making quite a few runs, and uh, that, that, that race really stands out. Um, Fred Soroka, I believe it was from Somerset, won the race, and Mike Cody, who was from Bed, who was a very good runner, had been training real hard for her, came in second. But for them to finish that in the time they did was amazing. Probably the first year that I ran the race with my son because he was bugging me for 10 years to run a race, but I, I wasn't into running. I was into basketball, baseball, and all that. Uh, and I wasn't a runner. So I practiced and I finished with 29 minutes. So that was a good race. <laughs> My favorite memory running the race, I think the second time I ran it, I was kind of <laughs> dying at the end, it was pretty bad. But then, right down at the end of School Street, I was running next to this guy, and he looked over at me and said, beat me. <laughs> so, it really gave me the motivation to, you know, finish fast. <laughs> My favorite memory is when I run with this one. <laughs> And she pushes me to finish. And she pushed me so hard last year that I threw up at the end, so. <laughs> My favorite memory is always being really close to her at the finish and, yeah, finishing together. Um, it's got to be the last, like, point one of the race, hearing my dad yell at me to run faster. Oh, it's hard to pick. I mean, I've been running it since I was in Band of Brothers when I was in elementary school, so. Um, but I got to say, one of my favorite memories was, was last year, the first year the race was back after COVID. Um, being able to come out and win it uh, was really exciting. It's something when I was a kid, I used to you know, look up to the people who won, like, wow, like one day. Um, so to be able to win it and, and, you know, experience that across the finish line and just, it was really an awesome experience. But also just all the times I was a kid, running with all my friends, you know, in our neon Band of Brothers shirts. Uh, something I'll remember forever and it really sparked my love for running so I'm very thankful for this race and, and everything it's done. 
So my favorite memory of running this race is, well, first of all, I started running it with my cousins uh, from here, from Fairhaven, and then I always ran it in memory of my father who passed away, and every year after the road race, and I run it with my daughters, my son, and now this year for the first year, my granddaughter. Um, so I'm going to say that my favorite memory is also that we put my number on my father's grave every year so that we always celebrate Father's Day and he's always a part of it. Uh, every year we have the scouts come out yeah. and they man this uh, water station here for the thousands and thousands of runners that come running up this road. Mm, and are you excited for the race to start? Very much so. Are you rooting they for also, anyone? They also help to, uh, yes I do have one scout, one of my youngest scouts is running in the, <laughs> oh, uh, running right. in the race, yeah, yep. Liam Walsh. And uh, these guys promise they wouldn't douse him when he comes through, but you know, they lie. <laughs> Thank the people that make this all possible. Our generous sponsors, dedicated volunteers, all the runners that make Haven the place to be on Father's Day. And our sport is unique because we have no losers because everyone that crosses the finish line is a winner. 